Hello, this is Rob Schmidt doing a game film analysis for Michael Raiderman on his December 15th, 2021 game versus Nutrier JV. GBM lost this game 3-2 to in a shootout. So basically how this is going to go is I'm going to take a look at Michael's saves first and then we'll take a look at the goals i like to start out with the positives and then we'll we will analyze the goals that michael let in so this is a second period play um, michael's in his stance right here I, I i like the way he's head checking so there's a shot from the point I'd like to see a stronger recovery from you there, Michael. Um, you're in your passive stance right now. I'd like to see you in your regular stance because there is a danger of a shot. Okay, make a nice save there. And if we could just go back real quick. Okay, yeah, right here. I want to point out, Michael, moving post to post, you're looking over the net. Okay, that's why you had a bit of trouble um, sealing the ice. We want to look underneath the net. All right, next play here. Shot, good recovery. Recover back to your feet, which I like. Head check, good. Good job looking around the hip. Okay, right here's where you get into trouble. Okay, I'd like you to push across on your feet. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this a few times in slow-mo, okay? So look at how much you're leaning towards your glove side, okay? Then that puts you off balance and it doesn't allow you to get a strong push on your feet. Look at that right here, okay? You're wide and you're not able to get that strong push that is needed. Look at how wide and low you are. It forces you to go down. A good shooter is going to pick a corner. So, an adjustment we can easily make. All right, moving on to the next play. Great post-to-post -post movement. I like how you're at 45 degrees, right, which allows you to make a nice save there. Now, we regain possession at this point, okay? And I'm not sure if you communicated or not with your defenseman. If you did communicate, that is great. That's the next step I want you to take because you have a unique perspective of what the best exit from the zone is for them. All right, this next attempt, and we're gonna look at it a couple times in full speed and then in slow motion. Okay, you're retreating. And to me, you never really get into a set position. Okay, and you're a bit too wide right here. See how wide you were there? Which causes you to make sort of a desperation push, okay? You don't get much power from it because of how wide you were. And there we see it one more time, okay? Now let's look at some goals against. Okay, so the goals against. It's a cycle. Okay, I like the head check there. We're gonna go back to that point in a second. Now, in this situation, we wanna identify the most dangerous player, okay? Now we're gonna watch it again in slow motion, okay? Your feet are at a good width there. I like that. I like what I'm seeing so far. Okay, he got eyes on the puck. Now we start to get into some trouble once the puck 
is centered. You get really wide, okay? And you commit to that backhand. So let's take another look at it, okay? So we go down unnecessarily here. I'd like you to hold your edges, okay? Because then that allows you to make that save back door. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these breakaway goals. All right. So the first one, you start out halfway between the hash marks and the top of the crease, which I like. You begin to retreat a tad early, and let's go through this in slow motion, okay? So you bite on that move. And I want to watch this one more time with you so I can really explain. Okay, I want to let you know your timing here is impeccable. All right? The only time he has to shoot is right there. Okay? And then he moves to his backhand and dekes you. So let's look at it one more time. Okay. So right now it looks like he's going to shoot. But notice how far out he you are. So he decides to deke. And that's when you open up and bite on that move. Okay. So what we need to do here is recognize that deke. So this last goal against is very, very fixable. Okay, watch your legs and how they spread apart. Okay, so you recognize he's going to shoot, which is obviously great. Your depth is good, but your legs handcuff you. Okay, if we're in our athletic stance, we're able to make that save even with the backflow. Okay, just some additional thoughts and kind of recapping what we discussed. Um, first off, what I saw from you was nothing that cannot be corrected, okay? For, for example, um, on the breakaways, just being a little bit more patient, okay? And recognizing, you know, by the way, the shooter is holding a stick, um, whether he's gonna deke or shoot, that's one thing. Um, some head checks, some communications with your defenseman. And I think we learn more from the saves that you made as opposed to the goals you let in. So going back to the first or second save from that second period, um, your weight distribution needs to be corrected a little bit um, along with the way you push. And we want to, like I said, stay on our feet as much as possible. Um, another point that I discussed, I think it was the third period save, was um, just making sure and being aware of that backdoor guy and not getting too wide in your stance. So, once again, another fixable thing now, going to the breakaways and... I say this with all my goalies. The key is patience, patience, patience. Okay. I think you were trying to outguess the shooter, which is common for a goalie of your skill level playing at the JV level. Um, look, the JV level probably is not competitive enough for you so you're sort of overthinking things and you're 
thinking at such a high level that it makes it difficult for you as a goalie because the shooters aren't as sophisticated as they would be at varsity. But overall, what I want you to take away from this is just more of some technical adjustments. And if you have any questions about what you know I've said on the video, feel free to text me or call me. I'm happy to discuss this with you further. Overall, though, I think you're doing a great job and there's nothing to get freaked out about um, from this game. Thanks, Michael. I will talk to you soon.